got five guys who are untouchable. Who are they? Bill Russell. Okay. Will Chamberlain. Oscar Robertson. Jerry West. And Elgin Baylor. The next group of guys would be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, Michael Jordan. Urban Magic Johnson, probably Carl Malone. I like even that tiny Archibald. So no Steph. Oh no, he hadn't even played long enough. Everybody I named in there, their career's finished. This your brother Van Silk, not in my house. Another segment right here on rumble.com and youtube.com. Make sure you hit the notification button, subscribe button, share it with your friends, and we're going to keep moving on. I want to have a conversation about when people do their top 10 in hip-hop, basketball, baseball, just anything when you ask the question of your top 10. You'll have to excuse the wind while I'm taking a walk, catch some of this sunshine. But as I'm talking, we're looking at the great Dr. J. Now, before I came on, Dr. J gave you his top 10. That's his list. He's entitled to have that list. If you would have asked me who was my top 10, I'm entitled to that list. That's my opinion. But let me say this, before it gets to hip-hop, because a lot of people are not knowledgeable about hip-hop, I always say hip-hop top 10 should be broken down into generations. Because it ain't fair to ask a 30-year-old to give them the top 10 rappers of all times. And you don't know who some of the pioneers and legends of hip-hop are. So let's break it down into generations. But when it comes to basketball, because it was the National Basketball Association, they just moved it up from the 50 to 75 players, which I feel some players who are still playing shouldn't even be in there. It used to be so for players who are retired. People get upset. <clears throat> Why you don't get upset at Dr. J and his list? Those are the 10 players that is in his top 10. Some of y'all get mad because LeBron is not in there or Steph Curry, people who are still playing or even Kevin Durant. Y'all can't do that. That ain't the way the game is. You can't rewrite it. If I make my top 10, LeBron is not in it either. And I have nothing against LeBron. <clears throat> not from the old school. But if I made my top 10, of my generation, I'm probably have to include a Walk Frazier and Urban Row in my top ten. I to include Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Dr. J, Magic Johnson. I mean, there's so many people that played in the NBA that don't get the accolades. Great players played on the hardwood floor. But we got to stop sitting up here, oh, Dr. J don't know what he's talking about. Yes, he do. He play basketball. Just because you don't like the top 10 he made, that's like asking him, what's his top 10 female black actress of all time? He might say Dorothy Dandridge. You know, he might say Diane Carroll. You going to get mad because he ain't naming somebody that you like in your generation? Y'all need to cut that out. Respect Dr. J, the great Julius Irving. The man who changed the game, who made a platform for Michael Jordan and everybody else. If it wasn't for the ABA merging with the NBA back then, the NBA was was was, was like weak because you had the great players that came and that came from the ABA into the NBA that was dunking. You know, and you don't even know half of that issues of what was going on when the NBA merged with the NBA. You had David Thompson. Come on, these dudes and George Gervin, Bob McAdoo. 
you know, a lot of the teams that's in the NBA now came from the NBA, from the ABA. People never mention Nate Archibald. He let he the only player that led the league in scoring and assists. Sacramento Kings. They used to call him Nate the Skate Archibald. So when people make their list, the best show could do is like, you know what? That's that's his list. That's his opinion. This your brother Van Silk. I'm not in my house with Van Silk, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my Rumble channel. When you click the link, just subscribe. It take less than five minutes. I'll be dropping knowledge. Shout out to everybody in the 50th anniversary of hip hop. We started August 11th, 2023, until next year, August 11th, 2024. I'm out.